It's like a little piece of heaven on earth. It's like a fairy tale. Somebody once described Opta as a, an amazing adult playground where people can let go and return in a way to the playfulness of childhood. Before I came, I thought in between the session I would be bored. What shall I do? How many books can I read? <laughs> I haven't been bored for a second. I think for me the most important thing is that it is simply what it is and uh, it's up to each person who comes here to make of it what they make of it. I think the All Potter Yoga Retreat is about people experiencing the, the nature here and the simplicity of, I guess, how we used to live without modern technology and coming back to our feelings. So we learn to slow down here. And with the eyes closed, just take 10 breaths in and out, okay, just to gradually um, notice each time you breathe in the possibility to <coughs> breathe in a little bit more air. Let the breath out to find its natural resting point. I've never tried yoga before and uh, I found it extremely nice. I, I feel I can sleep in positions I could not do before. <laughs> I notice the difference when we are having lunch or dinner that I can sit differently and eat because I can bend differently, I can use and stretch. It makes me feel very good. yoga in the past has been very strenuous and active and and quite intense on the body and so the yoga here because you do it so often you're able to really explore certain positions and spend a long long time on opening up your hips or your shoulders and so you know the improvements have been quite huge for me and yeah it's just really nice to be able to spend so much time doing like yoga love it we're not rushed by other classes coming in after. Uh, so we have the time to explore uh, our breathing practices, meditation practices, relaxation techniques, a little bit more time to allow the body to, to relax and be in the nature, be in a peaceful surrounding. So those vibrations, I think, feed more into the body. The most special thing about this place is for me the Ayurvedic spa. It's so genuine and, and it's, it, it really, really makes you feel really that you are so close to nature and the way it has been done for 2,500 years. So you can open the pot slowly. Yeah, Ayurveda is a, not only a system of medicine, it's a lifestyle because we talk about your food, exercise and everything. No curd. No curd. No curd. No curd. I can drink the lime juice. And yeah, uh, the juices and normal foods are okay. okay. Yeah, really what we are trying to keep is our very traditional village lifestyle. In the ancient village they have a Ayurvedic doctor and they treat for the villagers free without taking any money. We try to keep this tradition. So in that case we have to find the money to give it to the people, local people. So we decided to give, collect money by treating people who can pay something and for our guest. And so they get some treatment here and then pay for something for that. And that money goes to that free clinic. And we give medicine and everything free. And uh, I think for the moment we have treated more than 40,000 people. Villages who live here are just amazing lessons in life, just to watch them, to be with them all the time. 
and to see how friendly and happy and fun-loving they are. Never a loud word, never a shout, never anybody is angry. Um, is such a wonderful lesson in life. The food is scrumptious, it's delicious. It's all vegetarian and uh, the spreads are incredibly colourful and varied. Lots of really unusual but delicious vegetables that I've never heard of um, and the curd is my favourite. <laughs> Susie, is this one delicious? <laughs> the way that the food is cooked here, it's also fresh. It is from the gardens uh, in Upata. You feel the, the combination with Ayurvedic treatment and the organic food, it really helps you. It feels good for the body. Yeah. And we eat all the time, really. <laughs> <laughs> The food is not just the eating, it's the coming together of everyone and talking about the day and talking about things that are going on in your head and your own journey and you really get to know the people that you're staying with so well, so intimately. People tend to bond very closely here. I think it's because the way Upta is designed without uh, modern gadgets without devices. There's no distractions of any kind of internet or outside world. You're almost like in, in your own little bubble here and you just connect with people who are here around you and most people are, are very like-minded so it's, uh, it's always a great pleasure. Being here and being disconnected has really allowed me to, to be present and to enjoy, enjoy the simple things. I know that sounds really cliched, but uh, to hear the sounds of, of the birds, to watch the sunrise, to see the full moon and, uh, and, and the stars, uh, and just to enjoy and savour those moments. When I came last Sunday, I felt stressed, I felt my body was tense, I felt bloated. Now I feel relaxed, I feel my face is relaxed. Uh, and looking at Vimala, I can see her face is more glowing. You can see it in the eyes, in the, in the skin, and, and, and that, that feels very good. I feel almost like a new person, actually. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, new person. A new couple. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.